Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our presentation on the Social Active Chair approach by Oxfam, which has been implemented in the Rohingya refugee response and in the host communities of Bangladesh. So what is the goal of the Social Active Chair approach? It has a very simple goal of making the community people the architect of their own interventions. And we are going to do it with the community consultation with each and every person of the community so that all their perspective and feedbacks can gather into a intervention idea and it will help to improve their living uh, environment and it will help them to dream for a better future. Uh, during the consultation process, what the, the two most important things that we keep in our mind is to include that uh, knowledge of the community and professional experts in the same platform and also uh, designing interventions that are inclusive and considerate uh, the environment for all the So how can this approach into communities in design process? One of our project participants is Shohidul Bhai and we are seeing his family here. His family consists of children, elderly people, and he himself is a person with disabilities. So when we are talking with the whole community, and we are trying to address their wash facilities. We try to gather all their feedbacks in the design process. And we try to make them uh, visualize their existing structure and what their future can behold. And this is the visualization from our end with their feedbacks. And in this visualization, they have also tried to accompany the materials which are very available to them in their households so that it will be sustainable for the future and it will also make them accountable for that intervention and so here you can see the before after picture of the intervention and these wash facilities has been done with their own feedbacks and own perspective and hopefully it will be a sustainable and accountable uh, infrastructure for future after the success in our home street levels, um, designing with the communities, we became a bit more ambitious and asked ourselves if this approach can have an impact on making communal spaces more hygienic. And, uh, and to do that, we went to Noyapara, uh, which is a community in Waikong Technaf. This particular community had a complaint about the hygienic uh, situation uh, in their communal space, which is just the entry entry road of that community, uh, because uh, during the daytime and nighttime, the children of the community and the women of the community, even the men sometimes, they interact with uh, with each other uh, with uh, on this road, and they started uh, they suddenly started noticing that the women and the children started having a lot of skin diseases because of the unhygienic condition of this uh, road. To resolve that, we sat with the community and the community uh, came up with a map. And uh, as you can see in the map, uh, they, tried to, uh, they tried to write down and demonstrate, demonstrate us with various colors and lines that how they would want to uh, make this uh, road and this communal space a better uh, a better hygienic place and in and uh, we a group of architects and engineers we sat with them and create a visualization consult uh, i mean after a lot of consultations uh, this was the idea that they have that they want a drain a proper drainage system in the in the road uh, so that the other spaces or the walking spaces on the road can be uh, neat and hygienic. Uh, so uh, I think these two were two examples and case studies we wanted to uh, focus where we did not retrofit any idea upon any community. Rather, uh, we tried to co-create the interventions or considering all the possibilities together. And the, we certainly, uh, our team, we believe that any community and person and or any animal or plants have the right to live in a good hygienic environment. And this can only be done with a little listening and learning from each other.
uh, in this case, the possibilities and interventions become much more realistic and respectful through their everyday life. Uh, I think this should be our ending note. Uh, I want to thank everyone um, on behalf of my colleagues and teammates, Araf al um Muhammad Munir Zaman, and myself, Hazafatni. Uh, thank you so much.